Fischer esterification is the process of attacking a carboxylic acid with an alcohol in acidic conditions. The mechanism has six steps with important resonance after steps one and five. Let's see how this reaction takes place. For the first step, we are going to start with a carboxylic acid and protonate it with an acid. The electrons on the carbonyl oxygen are going to attack the hydrogen on the acid and pull it away. This forms a charged oxonium ion. The oxonium ion has resonance onto the carbon that stabilizes it. This is accomplished by the pair of pi electrons migrating up to the oxygen, leaving carbon with only three bonds and a positive charge. The carbocation is unstable, but it does contribute to the resonance. This causes the carbon to have a slightly positive charge even when the double bond to oxygen is present. The slight positive charge on carbon is enough to encourage the alcohol to attack with its electrons. This pushes the pi electrons up to oxygen while the alcohol oxygen is forming a new bond to carbon. Once again, an oxonium is formed, but this time there is no resonance to stabilize it. Notice the tetrahedral molecule that we end up with. Step three is simply deprotonating the oxonium ion with another molecule acting as a base. The base attacks the oxonium hydrogen and the hydrogen leaves behind a pair of electrons for the oxygen. For step four, one of the alcohol oxygens on the molecule will be protonated by an acid. Similar to step one, the oxygen electrons attack the acidic hydrogen and leave the acid with a pair of electrons. Again, we have an oxonium ion. In step five, the oxonium ion makes a great leaving group as water. A pair of electrons from the remaining alcohol oxygen form a double bond with the carbon to help push off the leaving group as neutral water. Step five formed another oxonium ion that has resonance. The carbonyl pi electrons migrate to the oxygen, moving the positive charge to the carbon. This carbocation is similar to the previous one in that it only contributes a little bit to the resonance. The final step is to deprotonate the ion with a base. The base attacks the hydrogen, pulling it away and leaving a pair of electrons behind for the oxygen. This forms our neutral final ester. In review, we start with a carboxylic acid and protonate it with another acid. The resulting ion is stabilized with resonance, which helps it react with an alcohol to form a tetrahedral intermediate. We then deprotonate the resulting oxonium with a base before protonating one of the alcohol groups with acid. We eject water as the leaving group, returning to an sp2 hybridized carbon. Finally, we deprotonate with a base to get our preferred ester. I hope this has helped you make sense of Fischer esterification.